Well, well, massive, I'm Mef Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I safely take down my yarn for locks. I know a lot of persons in my circles have been saying to me that they're still looking very neat and intact, and I could go like another month with them, but I think I need to see my hair now. And yeah, I really miss my hair, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I take those down, take these down. Now, I won't be sitting to do everything cause like, I mean, I have that much time there. So I'm just gonna be doing some of it. Yeah, I did, did them myself, so they're not looking 100, they kinda look mad. But I uh, don't mind cause I keep this part of my hair covered anyway, so. I'm just gonna show you how I safely take them down without causing any damage to my hair. Alright, so here they are. And you can see my little growth here. So in the top of my head that has been growing into this bald spot of mine. My hair has been filling in really nicely and so I'm grateful for that. And yeah. I went to down them something I know because I really miss my hair. I want to give it a nice wash and some treatment with molasses. I may show you how I I might show you how I do that. How I treat my hair with molasses and honey. And a couple more things. So stay tuned. I'm not sure yet, but you will see when I put up that video, so just ensure that you uh, click on your notification bell so you can see when I post this and other videos and if I post that one with the molasses to show you how I treat my hair with molasses. So this is one of my favorite commercial products. Um, if you're a natural, you need to be using this. This is a very excellent moisturizer or this is an excellent moisturizer. So what I do, I just spray my roots and this will just prevent breakage so you just want to spray the roots um, that section where the hair meets the yarn alright so this is the lock that i'm going to use to measure my growth the reason i did it very tight i did did it so tight that i started getting pulls as my hair bulbs i started seeing my hair bulbs a couple of days after so it was very tight okay so i'm gonna finish moisturizing the roots it's really hot and i don't want to turn on the fan because it's just gonna make a lot of noise so just bear with me I'm sweating so when I'm finished this is my cold press castor oil so I'm just now going to finish moisturizing by using the oils the oil at the roots as well So what I did was to look at this cute little top. Yeah, so proud of my new growth. So what I did was to tie the ends like this. I didn't worry to burn them because I never have the time. So I am now going to just pull that. I tied it in several places. going to take my time to unravel okay so here is my plaid or my twist 
and I just pull this out and before I do anything else I go in with my castor oil and I just oil it I'm gonna do about two more of these Lord, my sweat, watch out. So please, don't forget to subscribe and to like my video so that it can reach out to more persons. Well, this one I never had to cut it. It was just readily able to come off. So I'm just unraveling it. And I did cut the front of my hair, so it's this one I think is going to be very short because I did cut the front of my hair. But that one was very quick. Oh, this is not the section I cut. Alright, so this is the length. And again, I am just going to go in with my castor oil. And rub some on it. So that will prevent the hair from breaking off. Because you don't want to get all of this growth and then in taking down your protective style you break it off. So you just need to moisturize and ensure that you are carefully taking down your hair. So my hair is all the way under here. I don't have a problem with growing hair. I just need it to be completely full like it was before. So I have my little mint tea. Let me see this one. As you can see these locks have been in for five weeks and my scalp is still very clean i don't have any dandruff on my scalp because of the oils that i formulate and use they have antiseptic properties so i don't have to worry about dirty hair because they definitely prevent dandruff from growing on my scalp or from forming on my scalp some of them do take a bit longer to come out I think maybe what happened is that I joined some of them so they take a bit longer to come out I think I'm gonna stay indoors all day to pull this out because in here it's very hot I might just go outside and that's why I do most of my videos outdoors because it's just really hot inside and you don't want to turn on the fan I mean I have no AC so you just want to just be cool so here is this one this one is very long if it is to my pan the road looks like that's it my mad do you know I don't want it Take my mad. Yeah, I think I'm a mad person, but it's myself on the road, look so. So ensure you check out my other videos, people, for my hair regrowed story and the things that I've been using to regrow my bald spots and how these have been working how my hair has been progressing i have a couple of videos on my channel that's dedicated to that just showing you the things that i do to grow back my hair 
to just ensure that you check out those videos please 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 and thank you all right so you're gonna see my hair lens um yeah it's growing nicely and again i just go in and use my castor oil and oil this edges to not doing too badly um, here I've always had a little challenge with this side but it's growing there it is and of course you know the camera going to make it look worse than it seem but these are my edges all right so I'm gonna pull off the rest pull out the rest off camera and then I will come back and show you when I pull out everything what my hair looks like I might do just a brief length check just to let you see where my hair is now and I am back I finish pulling out all my locks and this is what my hair looks like the roots are very thick very very thick and so I'm just gonna show you what I do now to well by the way this is the hair the shedding that I got five weeks of shedding so this is it but this is some cold tuna water I just took it off the refrigerator I am going to use this to rehydrate my hair Yeah, so my hair has been without it's been dehydrated because I've been wearing these locks let me just do a quick length check all right so this is my hair and this is where the side is uh, little at armpit length a little at armpit pit length and I guess it's the same for over here. So this picture that I'm putting up now, you'll see the difference where I'm coming from in terms of um, where my hair was about early last year. And so I'm just gonna go in now with my tuna water to rehydrate the hair. just has amazing slip amazing amazing slip so before anything else before I do anything else I just ensure that my strands are hydrated because you know when you're keeping protective styles especially braids and uh, forelocks especially the one with the wool it tends to dry out your hair so I have to ensure that my hair is hydrated. Alright, so I'm just going to twist this back up. Now this section. You can see my part it's closing in it's not as wide before now it was like this wide but it, it has closed up really nicely and I'm gonna be using aloe in a but for, for me using the tuna water to do this process it is a lot easier cuz at least I don't have to you just have to leave it to soak overnight and if you want to see how I do that, you can check out my channel. I have a video called How to Make Tuna Water. Uh, you'll see it in a bottle. 
with some roses some beautiful roses around the bottle so you can check that out to see how I make my tuna water it's pretty simple so I'm just gonna be going ahead to drink the rest of this water the body needs some hydration as well and this is refreshing easy to go down So ensure that you get all those ends hydrated in your roots. Like this really refreshing, refreshing. Ooh, and the time is so hot, so I just feel like I needed that. So I'm gonna be using the tape measure just so that you can see the length of my hair in inches. That's just about 12 inches where it's up there just about 12 inches back when i had 18 inches up here i used to do so i used to spend so much time in my hair i used to be always in my hair and so it was growing very fast at that time um, but nowadays with all that's happening I really can't find the time I hardly can find the time to pay attention to my hair but I'm trying to do my best with the little time I have um, cuz can't bother with the picky picky bumpy head you know in Jamaica when time your hair too short, them call your picky picky head. So, for try make the little hair grow. And when you have a bald spot, when we look at them, you used to call your boonga baby. Yeah, or them say Janko jar breaks in your head. So, we always had a thing for long hair as Jamaicans. So, this is the last one. And it barely do. This is where this is. At armpit as well. Armpit length. I don't think this is 12 inches though. Could be about 9 or 10. The top of my hair is always longer than the back. Or the front of my hair is always longer than the back. So, I don't think this is 12 inches. Alright, so I'm done hydrating my hair. And I'm just going to do a little bit extra. So I successfully took down my yarn for locks, no breakage, just some shedding and this is expected. Now, when we were small, my granny used to tell me, say, this, you must, you must make sure, say, bird don't catch it or else you'll be mad if bird use your ear and make nests. So I leave that Jamaican tip with you. All right, so bye. See you in the next video and thank you for watching.